Anthony Payne the second to Sheena Arnold and Martin Lawrence. This is a real moment. Yeah, yeah, a special you, moment. You better special. believe it, baby. Right. <laughs> we finally about to get an Emmy. What? <laughs> yeah, we getting our Emmy tonight. What? <laughs> yeah. As a matter of fact, I got my speech on deck too. Yeah, no, all no, ready to go. No. And no, 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 no. All right. And they better not send Mama D out here to play me off either this year. No, 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 Carl. We're not winning an Emmy tonight. Please, sit your butt down. Please, sit. What you mean? Carl, we're presenting an award, not being presented with one, knucklehead. I need to hear with something. Okay, no, wait, wait, wait. Carl is it all the way wrong, you guys. I mean, we should have won an Emmy during our run. Just true, true. Yeah. 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 Right, boy? That but, would be right. That right. would be right. Well, never even nominated despite our 132 episodes what wow um um uh, just our huge ratings and being in syndicated so much that it's a little hard for me to see the 90s spankless version of myself every night you know what i'm saying right Tajina? <laughs> no i still look good wow You know, I, I want to thank you guys for your contribution to television. Thank you, Andy. Um, but thank you. Uh, unlike me, or like me, uh, for the last 11 times, you're not going to get an Emmy. <laughs> what you mean? You're not. Why? Mm. That kind of sucks. Yeah, no, no he's tricking us. Yeah. He's tricking us. He's tricking us. Go ahead. Keep, keep going. Keep going. Okay. Uh, well, you know what? It's all good. It's all good. You know, I'm just excited to be here on the Emmy stage with this tremendous cast of the martin show that's right yeah yeah <laughs> to present the next next award are the nominees for lead actor in a comedy series what's up with it y'all it's coffee tapping back in and this was great to see man martin the cast reunion and did y'all peep r.i.p tommy for tommy on a coffee table there now i didn't see the emmys i didn't watch the whole thing i don't know if there was another clip where they did another um little skit where they transitioned into a presentation or something like that um as from my understanding kind of the theme of this emmys was reunions of 90s uh tv shows like martin was the only cast that got back together here as they did a um was it BET? They did a reunion a year or two ago as well when it was hitting a certain year milestone. And it's cool too that you know they're all good money as one point in time there was a situation I think between Martin and Gina, but we don't even want to get into that or talk about that. We'll leave that in the past. As they all killed that, man. They they still play those characters so well. It felt like I was right back in the day watching an episode of Martin. Real talk. Like, I mean that for real, for real. But uh, what I was getting at about, I don't know if there was another skit or not. I don't know if they were like, yo, R.I.P. Tommy, or they mentioned him. Um, or what? If y'all seen, if you seen the whole Emmys, tap in and let me know. But it was cool. They had his uh, picture there in memory on uh the coffee table and i love the way they they uh did the the whole emmy snub because martin really was snubbed they, they hit it on the head with all that it was a great show funny as hell ran in syndication like motherfucker you heard um gina talking about yo i i, I see myself so much it's hard for me to deal with that i ain't my younger self anymore and pam quipped in with the <laughs> she still look good like i said they just play those characters so well man that's what made that such a great show they were always having fun i remember i had to go to um a urgent care a couple months ago a month and a half ago with wifey and uh they had a martin dvd in on the screen there like i was walking in and they had the the title screen up and press play like i remember it specifically because it was streaming nowadays you don't see dvds no more man remember getting all them special features and everything it was so lit but they really got snubbed they deserved an emmy no question and um again that was just pure comedy gold great acting 
But it was so crazy when Pam was doing her part, I was really thinking to myself, right? Like, I've watched so much Everybody Hates Chris. My son has really got into that show as I guess one way or another on TikTok. Y'all know everyone. I mean, whether you use TikTok out there yourself, if you do, J Coffee Talks on there, follow me. I have not uploaded a damn thing yet. I still haven't got to ticking and talking. But I will at some point. And um, I see I've gotten a few new followers. I'll follow y'all back whenever I get on there. I see the noties popping up, but I, I don't even go in on the app, but I will. But uh, my son, you know, anyone who, who, again, if you rock with it or your kids who like, my son is always getting into different old movies or shows or, or you know, different ish like that through TikTok. Things um, trending on there. And um, everybody hates Chris was getting re-uploaded a lot. And, uh, you know, we started binging out on it as I had watched the show uh, a while back when it came out. It's a funny show. It's a good show. But when Pam was doing her part, I was thinking about that and saying, man, did did Pam like obviously I think to everyone out there. That actress is like Pam is her main role. She's done a lot of other stuff, but that definitely to me is her biggest role. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Y'all let me know if I'm tripping, but. It's just like, I wonder with Everybody Hates Chris, did that role surpass her role as um, on Martin? As she was played that, the hell out of that character as Chris's mom. It's so funny too. Um, when my son is commenting and showing me stuff on TikTok and, and different stuff like that, when the show Everybody Hates Chris is talked about, like people, uh, younger generation are commenting and saying, Man, uh, the character that she played as Chris's mother, she's so abusive. She's mean. She's she's fucked up. She's this. She's that. And it's just funny. I think to myself, man, it's, it's soft these days. You know what I'm saying? Like back in my generation, my dukes, your pops would knock your block off right out of nowhere, right in public, anywhere in, you know, let you have it if you were cutting up with the quickness times have just changed it's, it's, it's crazy man but um I don't know seriously if y'all don't believe me peep some of them comment threads Chris's mom on that show is, is made out to be some kind of twisted evil character I'm like nah she's a loving caring mom she just don't play any games but uh, real talk comment and let me know with that character did that character come close to touching the, you know uh pam on uh martin what do y'all think and um it was also a trip too gina was on everybody hates chris as well peaches i think was her name but you know she was nowhere near um she was just like a recurring character she was nowhere near as nowhere near as big of a part of the show as um as pam was but um i don't know man jump in the comments r.i.p tommy I forgot Tommy was on New York Undercover as well, y'all. Um, but, yeah. Martin, back together again. Was dope to see another reunion. But what do y'all think, man? Could Martin do some kind of... Like, seeing this, does this make anyone think out there that the show should take it a step further and do a special or something like that? Like an episode or a a special event movie or a mini series or or something like that or just leave it be let it just rest and you know rest and and r.i.p tommy or could they should they ever do something else uh, but then if they did they would have to address tommy passing but i don't know man that's all i got i'm out of here sub up coffee talk with me on the next one y'all peace